Hi there, everybody. We are making a yummy seafood dish made by a familiar face here on Cook's Corner. We're joined by Liz Barber from Creative Feast. Uh, thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah. So you got a large piece of fish right there. I do. So this is an entire side of uh, salmon. Okay. okay. It's a smaller side. Okay. So typically we uh, cut salmon into fillets, right? Got Straight it. across like that. Sure. But this is a little bit different. So I had the guy at the fish counter skin the salmon for me so there's no skin on the back, got right? It. Okay. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these strips all the way down. I don't want to cut them too thick because okay. when I turn this into a spiral, if it's too thick, they'll just be too big. Okay, about an okay. inch or so. There. Yeah. yeah okay. Yep. Yep. So now I've got it uh, so that it's in one strip, and I'm going to do another one just for the heck of it. And so again, it's called salmon. S salmon spirelli. Spirelli. Right. And spiral. this is going to be filled with a combination of Dijon mustard and fresh dill. Nice, All right? okay. And this is actually uh, gonna be featured in my upcoming book and um, featuring uh, cooking with herbs and edible flowers. That is in the works right now, right? It is, it is. So now I've got that into a nice strip. This is a combination, almost equal parts of Dijon mustard and chopped fresh dill. Okay, all right? so you're kind of layering it on the top there. I'm just pouring it on this. Actually, what I did was I took the piece and I flipped it over on its side, like okay. that, on the cut side. And so I line it like that, and then it's I'm just enough. gonna okay. wind it up. Okay, so I've got that. For the and, Spirelli portion of yes. it. Yes, okay. so now I just take it, and I'm just going to Spiral, spiral it. So that hopefully will come this together. Will stick so this is really cool. You're working on a book. What kind of stuff in there? You said edible flowers. Yep, cooking with herbs and edible flowers. Yep. Trying to do um, recipes that have multiple lives. So this recipe, for example, I've got the Simon uh, salmon spirelli. Now yep. I'm going to toothpick it to keep it closed, and then I'm just going to put it on a baking pan and bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Now okay. if I make enough of this and I have leftovers, then I just cut up the leftover salmon and I put it into a salad. Oh, reuse it. Or, okay. Yeah, or okay. I could have, maybe I have a, um, a soup going and I want to add some seafood to it. it. I can put this in at the very last minute and then I've got a wonderful flavor oh, in there. And the final product is right over there, right? It so. is, yes. When yeah. is the book going to be available, folks were interested? Uh, we're looking at uh, the beginning of fall. So okay. I'll be photographing my gardens all summer because we're going to be featuring the gardens in there too. But you can go to my website at thecreativefeast.com and you can see recipes, you can see um, a lot of the uh, photos from the garden. And okay. then I also continue to do my wellness programs for municipalities and... Yeah, what groups. are the wellness programs for folks who don't know? Um, they're all about healthy eating and okay. preparing for good food. All right, so, which can yeah. be easy to do and it delicious, can. right? It can. Okay, yeah, anybody can do that. I love that. Oh, absolutely. Very you amazing. saw how simple it was. Yeah. Again, the website is? TheCreativeFeast.com. All right, Liz Barber, thank you very much. There's our Spinelli right there. That does it for us.